welcome to all of you on my productive and skill oriented platform so here we need to verify the latest recovery points so here we have uh, now uh, uh, it's uh, 738 so it means that our data uh, is completely uh, replicated on Microsoft Azure as per our uh, deployment and configuration. So right now for a moment, you consider that your data center VMs went down due to any reason. It might be due to the physical uh, uh, errors. It might be due to the power failure. It might be that the operating system uh, get crash. So now you are going to uh, start your VM on Microsoft Azure. So uh, by that uh, process, we, we can verify that our data is uh, replicating on Microsoft Azure and our VM is working perfectly. So uh, if I uh, click back on my recovery vault, so here you can see the replicated item. So here is my VM. And here you can see if I click on the uh three dot options so here we have number of options appear on the screen so the first option is plan failover which means that you need to schedule your uh, failover process uh, in advance so uh, it might be you have 10 20 vms for which you are uh, going to uh, test the failover process during the weekend or during the coming maintenance activity so for that purpose you can plan your failover uh, on microsoft azure the second option is really important, uh, which is simply failover. When you click on this uh, option, so what ASR will uh, do for you, uh, your uh, on-prem infrastructure will be completely migrated on Microsoft Azure. So your on-prem VM will be no more exist on the uh, on, on your on-premise data center. So your VM will be completely migrated on Microsoft Azure. The third option is really important because right now we are going for the testing purpose. So uh, it's showing me that you can uh, test failover. What, what this option will did for me, uh, basically when I click on this option, my on-premise VM will be running perfectly without any issues, without any errors and uh, 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 without any latency. But the important thing is that uh, a new VM will be created on Microsoft Azure. And that VM will be the copy of my on-premise uh, infrastructure VM. So that is the best option because right now we are in the testing uh, phase. So I just need to click on it, test failover. When I click on the test failover button, so here you can see it will ask me a few questions. So these all uh, uh, infrastructure is already created and I need to, what is the failover direction from Claxton? I need to migrate my infrastructure to Microsoft Azure. Here you can see, I need to select the network adopter. So for that purpose, we have created virtual network for migration. I click on it and I just click on the OK button. So when I click on the OK button, here you can see the process initiated. And after a while, a new VM will be created on Microsoft Azure. Here you can see the prerequisites check for the test failover successful. Now, a starting test failover. So I'm going to pause the activity, uh, pause this video when this process is completed, then we will verify our uh, newly created VM. And we will also verify that uh, the data is completely replicated on Microsoft Azure or not. So we will verify all these configurations in the coming episode.